Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Vera Cloud Architect. Today we are going to see role based access from AC2 instance to S3 bucket or like any AWS service to another AWS service. So uh, I have like you know two services AC2 and S3 and I'm going to access S3 bucket from AC2 instance. For that I have to create a role uh, to uh, have the necessary permission uh, to accessing the S3 bucket and then I have to attach that role into the EC2 instance. Then we can access S3 bucket from the EC2 instance. Without wasting any time, let me go into the demo. This is my AWS account. I'm going to choose S3 and I wanted to show what are the buckets I have in this account. So I have this bucket. Okay, I'm going to access this bucket from my EC2 instance. For that, I have to create a role. Select IAM, search IAM and you can find the IAM here. Okay, so now I have the IAM dashboard. Here I have to choose role and I have to create a role. So there are many options available in uh, IAM role. We have to choose the first option to access from one service to another. So allow AWS services like EC2, Lambda to access another AWS service. Okay. So let me choose AWS services and then which service is going to access the another service. So which means the source service. So the source one is EC2. Okay, if you could not find like, you know, this is the uh, use cases, common use cases. If you cannot find it here, like you can uh, list out from this drop down. But anyway, I'm going to use easy to, I'm going to choose this option. Okay, now we have to choose the destination service or like, you know, the service which we are going to access and what are the permissions we're going to allow. So if you have a policy already, uh, we can choose it from the list otherwise we have to create a policy currently I'm going to give a S3 full access so I'm going to choose from here S3 full access choose the S3 full access option and then next here we can give a name so S3 access I'm giving like this name Okay, and that's all. So my, this is the like, you know, uh, uh, trusted entity details available. I'm gonna give this S3 full access and then create role. So now I have the S3 access role ready. Okay, it's been created. Now let me go back and create EC2 instance. Let me quickly create uh, Amazon EC2 instance, instances, and then let me ch choose a different uh, region. So I'm going to use uh, Mumbai region for this. Launch instance. Give a name for this, and then I'm choosing the Amazon Linux machine. So let it be as it is, T2 micro, and I need a key pair, so I'm gonna create new key pair. And this is going to be Mumbai Fem file. Okay, let me download the key pair. And VPC, I'm gonna use the default VPC, so I'm not choosing any and then SSH is enough for me that's all and this is my hard disk 8GB is fine and if you want to attach the IAM role we have to choose the advanced details here you can find IAM instance profile hit this one so now we can find the S3 access role so this is the ARN of that one. ARN means Amazon resource name. 
So you can choose this option to access S3 bucket. That's all. Launch an instance. It will take like you know one or two minutes time. So let me convert the PEM file to PPK file. For that, I am loading the PEM file. It's on my download. Go to download. This is my PEM file. I'm gonna save this one as a private key. Save as a private key. Yes. I'm going to give a same name. So Mumbai. Okay, it's gonna oh sorry. It's gonna save as a mumbai.ppk. So now let me go back to putty now. Putty we have to give the public IP of my server this is my public IP of my server and then SSH auth credentials in a private key we have to upload my private key which is in download Mumbai PEM file PPK file I'm opening it that's all my server has been connected the, the default user is easy to use so it's connected okay so now I have to uh, access the S3 to access S3 the command is AWS S3 and list I'm gonna list the bucket so here I can see my bucket name okay which I have already like now has shown the bucket name which is available here let me go to s3 so this is my bucket this is same as what we have got it from here so imagine I'm going to remove the role okay let me go to easy instance select this option action so here is a security and modify IAM role you can select that and we have the s3 access role right so I'm going to remove this no IAM role I don't want any IAM role and then update IAM role and then we have to detach just detach now I have detached the IAM role so let me go back to my putty and here I am trying to access the S3 bucket again see unable to locate credentials because I couldn't uh, because uh, since this EC2 instance does not have any uh, like no S3 access so I cannot connect let me show once again I am going to uh, uh, create an account or oh, sorry uh, I'm going to give access s3 access choose the server action security modify IAM role IAM role choosing the s3 access role and updating IAM so now again I have got the s3 bucket access so let me go s AWS s3 ls I'm getting the bucket so that's all for today so thanks for watching